Good evening and welcome to Capital Online TV News. My name is Anita Nderu and these are the stories making headlines. Kenya Railways has announced that the Madaraka Express passenger train will be making two stops as of August 1st at Ntitonde and Voi. Kenya Railways Managing Director Atanas Maina says the remaining intermediate stations, namely Mariakani, Mieseni, Kibwezi, Imali and Athi River, will commence once the operations of the inter-county train starts. He has also said Kenya Railways is implementing an online ticketing system and also revising the ticket format, which will have the details of the passengers. We had hoped to commence the operations of the county trains, but we thought that before we, we, can, do, we can do so, we will first continue with the, the intercity trains, but from the 1st of August, we have decided to escalate the service slightly more by having two stops on the same service. So from 1st of August, we'll be stopping at Mutito and Day, and we'll be stopping at Voi to make uh, uh, the, uh, customers and th at those locations to start enjoying the service. As soon as we get feedback on that, we'll then start escalating the service, improving on the service slowly by slowly, so that then we can make sure that all the county stations are receiving the service in the next coming months. The Matatu Owners Association has endorsed President Uhuru Kenyatta's re-election bid, saying he has an impeccable record that has led to the growth of the industry. The association chairperson Simon Kimutai says the Jubilee administration has provided an enabling environment for the industry to thrive. To ensure there is a high turnout of voters in the country, he says the association members shall provide free transport to the aged and those who are unwell. We as Matatu Owners Association have chosen to uh, uh, push for President Uhuru Kenyatta. Uhuru Kenyatta has been with us all along. He supported us and we as the association, we have endorsed him as a candidate of our choice. So here we are here to say we will vote Uhuru, but we will even give service to any other person who's voting differently. Earlier in the day, the chairperson met with the president at State House, where they urged the government to reform the Traffic Police Department in a bid to curb corruption, which they say would result in low affairs. Resurrected Nokia 3310 is officially in Kenyan stores as Nokia bets big on the Kenyan market. Speaking to Capital FM Business, HMD Global East Africa General Manager Joseph Omunakwe says the reborn 3310 and three other Android devices will significantly increase its market share in the region. Alongside the 3310, HMD Global, the Finnish company, has licensed the rights to produce Nokia phones, is also unveiling Nokia 6, Nokia 5 and Nokia 3 smartphones. People have asked on that question. Even before it was launched, there was some speculation that it was going to be Android, right? Yeah. So, yeah. Um, our future phone platform continues to enjoy very wide followership. People love future phones. I mean, there are still about 4 billion future phone users globally. So it's a massive opportunity right there. And for people like you, for someone like me, a lot of other uh, guys who have you know, smartphones, Nokia 6, Nokia 5, you may want to have a companion, a second phone that you can just put in your pocket and carry around. And of course, you know, it guarantees you one month standby time, right? So you charge it, you keep it, and it lasts for one month, right? And it guarantees you 22 hours of talk time, consistent talk time. I mean, I mean, your, your phone rings, you pick it up, and it talks for 22 hours non-stop, and the battery is still working. So that's what I treat it does. Lastly, with just 11 days left to the August 8th polls, the Jubilee Party campaigned in Laikipia, West Pokot, and Basia. The National Super Alliance, meanwhile, campaigned in Turkana. This comes as the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission makes final preparations. And that's all we had for you today. For the latest on these and other stories, log on to www.capitalfirm.co.ke. I'm Anita Nderu. Have yourselves a great evening.